video, we're going to be working more examples of how to solve problems using mathematical techniques. The following is a picture of the type of problems that we will be working. Feel free to pause the video to get a good look at the problems. Okay, so let's get started with our first problem. Geometry. The perimeter of a rectangle is 80 feet. Find its dimensions, assuming that its length is five feet less than twice the width. Okay, so let's tackle this problem. In order to find the dimensions of a rectangle, we need a formula, and the formula is as follows. Perimeter is equal to two times the length plus the width. And all we do is plug in the necessary pieces of information that we are given into the formula and solve. But before we do that, we need to look at another piece of information. It says that the length is five feet less than twice the width. So we are going to say that length is equal to two W minus five. Does that make sense? because if the length is five less than twice the width, then we want to say two W minus five. So now that we have all of the pieces of information, we just plug it into the formula and solve. So P is given already. So we have 80 is equal to two times, we said the length is two W minus five. So I'm going to replace L with two W minus five and then we have plus w. Now remember order of operations, we are going to compute what is inside of the parentheses first. So we have 80 is equal to two times two w plus one w is three w, and then we have minus five. Now we are going to use the distributive property and multiply these two together, okay? So we have 80 is equal to 6w minus 10. Okay, so the distributive property says we multiply uh, those two numbers and those two numbers together. Okay, so now we're going to subtract 10 from both sides. So we get 90 is equal to 6w. And then we are going to divide 6 uh, divide both sides by six, and then we solve. So the six cancels, and 90 divided by six is 15. So our width is 15. Now we need to find our length. So in order to find the length, we are just going to plug in our width into one of these formulas here. So it looks like this would be the uh, easier formula, right? So we're going to say L is equal to 2 times, and we're going to replace W with 15, and then say minus 5, which means that L is equal to 30 minus 5, which means that L is equal to 25. Okay, so that is how you find the dimensions of a rectangle. Now let's look at our second problem. Investment. If P dollars are invested at a simple interest rate R in decimals, the amount A will be available after T years is A is equal to P plus PRT. If 500 is invested at a rate of 6%, how long will it be before the amount of money available is $920? Okay, so let's figure out how to tackle this problem. So first thing we want to do is we want to write out the formula. We are already given a formula and the formula is A is equal to P plus PRT. Now let's identify what A is, what P is, what R is, and what T is. Okay, so now we are given A, which is 920. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in 920 for A. And we are also given P, which is 500. So I'm going to plug in 500 for P. And 
and we are given R, which is 6%. So I'm going to plug in 6%. And what we want to find is T. So now we're just computing and solving for T. So I'm just going to convert 6% uh, into a decimal. So we have 920 is equal to 500 plus 500 times 0 0.0. 0.06 t. So now let us go ahead and subtract 500 from both sides. So 920 minus 500 is 420 and we're left with 500 times 0 0.06 t. Now I'm just going to go ahead and multiply um, 500 times 0 0.06. And we get 30. So we have 420 is equal to 30T. And now we are just going to divide both sides by 30. So we get Let's bring this over here. So we get 420 divided by 30 is equal to T. Okay, so we sort of ran out of room, so I had to erase the board. So if you need to rewind to see where we're going, please do so, otherwise let us continue. So we were left with uh, 420 is equal to 30 T. So what we're going to do is we are going to divide both sides by 30. So we are left with 420 over 30 is equal to T. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by 10. And that will give us 42 over 3 is equal to T. And which means that T is equal to 14.